Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we are going to be printing and finishing this Baron Zemo helmet from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The detail on this thing is insane. If you want to get it, it's over at my site, 3D Printed Props. Let's go behind the fake wall and start working on this. So here's what Zemo looked like back when Kirby created him. Very big and puffy, not regal and barren-like. And of course, here now he is in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And as we've seen, he has found his mask, he has put this guy on, and he has started to wreak havoc. Well, let's start our own Baron Zemo mask. So this is a nice little setup that I like using. It's an old uh, light stand with a mannequin head or a wig head. I don't know what it was. It was for some project a long time ago for my son. And you look at this helmet, crazy detail. You can see stitching. It is super sharp. So I go ahead and put the helmet on this and snap the back on. I'm just going to paint it all together. And why I love using this is the uh, helmet is lower than I am so I can get the top. As you can see, this is just some Krylon and it's called Sweet Fig and I think it is the most perfect purple color for this helmet. Links in the description below. I got it at Lowe's, but you can get it on Amazon if you want. And I'm going to go ahead and coat this up with paint. And here is the crown. I went ahead and had the crown done even though it's not in the show yet. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. But I wanted to have it because I dig it. So now here comes my favorite part of any project is the weathering. So all I'm doing here is the helmet looks too new. It looks too plasticky, uh, even though uh, I went ahead and hit it with like a matte spray, sort of dull it down a little bit. Just using really cheap acrylics. Uh, these are just basics acrylics. Again, links in the description below with some water varying the... Um, the intensity of the paint. So sometimes it's very watery, sometimes it's just the paint. I'm hitting areas, cracks and crevices where dirt stays, and then I'm brushing some of it away with a paper towel to really get that look. I go a little overboard here and I have to fix it. Now, if you look at this helmet, it sort of bends in, right? And I'm gonna use a heat gun to flare this out a little bit so it fits better. Here's the problem when you're designing helmets like these or you're having them commissioned. You want them to look great. You want them to look, you know, uh, like the helmets that you see on the shows, but a lot of times it's hard to get those on because of how they're built. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll use a heat gun like I'm using here to heat up the plastic so I can flare it out and get it to fit a little bit better. And that's what I'm doing here. Now, you could print this out at a larger size, but then what happens is you end up uh, having something that looks very bobbleheadish. So here you go. I went ahead and did it so I can fit it can fit better. And it's got these those lines, those um, those waves in the plastic. And I was like, geez, I, I like that. I like that a lot. It looks like fabric. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep going over it with the heat gun. And I'm going to sort of push and prod with my finger when it gets hot enough at the seams at different parts in the helmet, as you can see here, to really make it look like it's not plastic, but like it's cloth. And again, this is going that little extra mile to make your helmet or make your prop look like the real thing because now it isn't looking like this solid piece of plastic. It's looking like fabric. It's looking like it's got waves and it's got motion to it. And I, I'm really, really digging how this thing is turning out. The more that I'm just sort of pushing and moving pieces around to make it look like this is a fabric mask, not so much a mask made out of plastic. And then you want to go, I want to be careful, not go too far and put my finger through it or melt it too much. As you can see, it got a little hot there, but I like how this looks. Now, here's the problem when you're sort of adapting helmets and you're moving them around like this. Now, I've got to heat this back part up so that it will fit there. Now, sometimes this is going to work. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes you need to print a bigger back part out, you know, scale it up a little bit. What I discovered was this doesn't really fit that well anymore. And in wearing the helmet, I realized I don't think I want to have this back piece. I'm just going to put a purple uh, balaclava on the back so I can get some more airflow. And it, I think it'll look a lot better. So there it is. The Z Zemo helmet from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Again, if you want to print this out, you can get it over at my site, 3dprintedprops.com. It is on sale. There's a coupon code below. Use that. You'll get 20% off. It comes in a couple different sizes. Of course, you can resize your printer. 
It also comes with the crown that you can just pop on or off, whatever you want. Super detailed, really fun print, really easy. No sanding of the helmet because all that sort of texture just obscures any kind of layer lines. It's really, really cool. So uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and click like and subscribe. Hit that little bell to know when there's more videos coming out. Once a week is what I am shooting for. And I'm going to try to add a short, a couple, two, three times a month. Uh, Uncle Jesse has inspired me with all the shorts he's doing, and I want to try to get some of those out myself. All right, guys, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.